And hello everyone, here with, here I am with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review, and also my first uh, Bonicle playset review, of which, so look forward to more of these in the future, and well, and today we'll be reviewing the Viserax Gate from 2005. So on the front of the booklet, the Bonicle logo there, and Viserax Gate underneath it, Lego logo in the corner, Picture of everything going on in action, ages 7 and up, and set number 8769 on the back. The ad for the Bonicle 3 uh, movie. The win on the online survey and different things on the LEGO website. Ad for Bonicle.com, the three play sets from this time. And also the completed realistic set with all the features and the last building sets and front page of which has a realistic picture of it all and each Hordika mini fig of course. So now on to each mini fig included with this. But I'm just gonna go through all of these uh, very quickly. Starting with Vakama. Oh, it's a kind of creepy interact. Well, a little creepy with quite molded in heads and everything. But it sort of it captured the sets. But instead of the regular two different weapons, instead are long spears. Oh, sorry, can't spin all the way on my thingy. And then back to you. Also, quite the same as the sets. So, as well. So, that's it. So, this one, Vakama. Wenua. And also to note is. Those first two, uh, which looked to the left side, and these two next two look straight forward. So, next up, no comma. Oniwa. And now these last two, uh, which look to the right side. So therefore, new Jew. And lastly, Matau. But also to note is that these mini things, all six of these Toa mini figs came with the three other playsets as well. Since, of course, they are comprised of one piece, which makes good sense, but at least they changed that up with the 2006 and 7 Voya Nui Mari Nui line ones, but more on that later. But also with the, each of these sets is get each mini Viserax with which quite the similar as the full size versions, and but except that, uh, uh, sorry about the background noises. But anyways, for this for these ones is these also of which comprise of black and glow in the dark. And also the pinchers, of which can also differentiate between them, just like the regular versions. But also with a little a Technic pin hole in the middle. And also what they also redid in the this, uh, Invasion from Below line of Hero Factory is where you press on the button and it flicks up. Pretty cool. The 
let me shine a little light over there so I can show you the glow in the dark feature. And it's yay, glowing still after all these years. And that's about it for that. And on to one of the main builds of which is just this little capital. Which kind of reminiscent of some that come with some, uh, ooh, whoops, Lego castle sets from this time. But just comprise of like a couple plates and a few slopes to hold these fiery balls in it, which are just the same as from the Pohatu Mata set in 2001. Let's see, same two pieces, but in gray with some uh, trans orange mixed in, make it look like lava rocks, of course just push it and slings it forward. Quite fun. And now on to Viserac Gate itself. Oh, which is pretty cool build too. Which most of these Metronui playsets oftentimes had. And also to keep in mind is they had a lot of jagged slopes going on with it. Actually, not with this one, but with the other ones, they had a bit of a modulability feature. And they also came with a lot of these, like, big ugly rock pieces. Well, almost not as big, you know. And came with some stickers around. And as, like the other couple ones, it this one, which is supposed to be like a Viserac uh, head, but... Old, but the other two were like large mask pieces and had some stickers on. And this, which also quite does, but it's one of them uh, cockpit pieces. And also uh, the Viserac pinchers, but don't pinch in, but just there for decoration. And like the actual Viserac, has green uh, string pieces that I think they should have included with the Viserac sets. Uh, can like make actual wet being although that would have been a little too much for them but also another neat thing with these like, the tiny viscerax is do have little clip things in them so you can clip them on to the lego string but this kind of lego string which are is the kind that have studs included which i don't see much anymore but not sure if they're still reused or whatever the story is with that. And as for the upper area, which has another one of them, but acting as a statuette or something, and a couple light staves on the sides, and view from the sides and from the back completely vacant, which all of these were. And you're wonder what those technic beams are for is for the main feature I'll get to later and also one of the features is where you can press this little thing here and didn't function well but can like launch a one of the mini viscerax right out like so So now one of the main the main feature is get one of these balls which load them onto here, lower the raise these things up and pull these technic rods in the back, push the forward to keep them in place, lift the thing up, and it drops right in front. 
knocking the Zorax down, obviously. Or the Hordika down, of course. You can drop it down like so. That was kind of cool. Kind of a bit cool for this one. And so, let me get everything out and we'll call it the final verdict. So overall, this is which uh, kind of cool for, or semi cool for, one of the playsets. Even though the the other ones, a lot larger and quite a little bit cooler than this, but what? But this one's still nice. Man. Even though this one of which may not have done much for the storyline, but the other ones did. And same within the other, uh, Mario. Voyanui, Marini lines as well. But at least good and all right start for the like minifigure. So which even though they were one piece, but at least good they changed it up a bit for the other two as well. But at least good to have something extra if you're making a layout of these playsets, of course. And if you so if you still have this set from back then, well, I have had some good memories of it, and for those who haven't, and still have access to this set, then I'd say go ahead and get it. eBay, BrickClink, whatever. And that is about it with this video, and thanks for watching.